Pablo Olomisa. Honorable Speaker, the Presidency, and Honorable Members, as we enter the 23rd year of our democracy, we see a rise in the levels of anxiety and anger among South Africans, with anarchy knocking at, at our door. Notwithstanding these trends, the United Democratic Movement acknowledges the great strides South Africa has made since 1994. The most disturbing reality is that we see an increase in the politics of patronage, uncontrollable corruption, the collapse of government institutions, a high unemployment rate, lack of development, failing health and education systems, widening inequality, chronic poverty, and ineffective provincial governments. With regard to provincial governments, the question is, is, do we really need these glorified homelands? We should rather strength, strengthen Honorable Olomisa, I'm busy fighting for your time here, but uh, I think they'll, they'll, they'll be there checking. Yeah, it's back. Okay. With regard to provincial governments, the question is, do we really need these glorified homelands? We should rather strengthen the local sphere of government and let national government take control and introduce the lacking of uniformity. We are celebrating the life of O.R. Tamb, an undoubted champion of the struggle for a just and free society. It would be interesting to know his thoughts on the so-called leaders who have dumped the deprived masses and took care of themselves at the expense of the poor. We believe that no individual party's policy conference could proffer all the sustainable solutions to the challenges we face as a nation. This is even more apparent when the governing alliance lacks policy coherence, thus threatening investor confidence. It is in this regard that the UTM resolved that in preparation for 2019 and beyond, we will, during this year, convene a consultative conference, which will be open to all citizens, to, among others, one, take stock of the 22 years of our democracy, identify areas of intervention to bring about meaningful economic transformation, review the legislative framework that impedes fundamental socio-economic transformation, including the Constitution, develop mechanisms to stop corruption and maladministration, take stock of the quality, qualification, and placement of our civil servants, including those who provide security services to the nation, 
improve our constitutional democracy with the introduction of a people's-driven electoral system, introduce legislation for transparent political party funding, and find a lasting solution to reduce tension between the social partners at NETLEC, in particular labor, government, and business. At the Envisage National Consultative Conference, we shall also evaluate the agreements between the ruling party and the apartheid government uh, before and during the CODESA negotiations. Meaningful transformation, including the transfer of land and control of the economy, will never be realized so long as those agreements are used as scarecrows and lock the majority of our citizens outside the economic mainstream. South Africans, it is our collective task to ensure that the ideas of a truly democratic and prosperous society as envisaged by O.R. Tambo and others are realized. In this regard, I encourage you to take advantage of the proposed conference to ensure that we reclaim the original objective of the struggle we have so dearly fought for. Wage watu tatu kobololo we ANC kaya etranskai. Unzi ma amapolisa na majoni sejenzi sa usa presa if you sabanyaban. Wati uktatu kobololo wolo mesa tatani leo koni pin selepito. Sise ogwe ni glendo school, ya kuza ufnega gengu ogo ni forte, kwa kuseka kufigwa kulu minyaga ezayo. Because asina utupatu wangabandu wabaki malika kulmente, beichi angenkani, ama sela, asina ukwazi. The Honorable Mtimu Nye.